Hi guys, this is G64s. I am uh, here to teach you about how to make this uh, mod. Of course, removing the first uh, halves of the gun, the primary gun that uh, has. I want to show you the parts that uh, you don't need. It's from the backpack assembly. You're gonna uh, uh, remove those and keep those apart for in the future so the toy uh, uh, stays in one piece so we remove the backpack okay as you can see you start with removing those two screws if you have removed those screws these white things will be connected to each of the uh, red guns you must remove uh, two large screws from each of the gun which leaves you with four screws those two white things you can leave behind like I said the backpack can be put on like this or this well whatever way you want as you can see uh, the gun fits right in the T-fold holes so you can play around using that one or this one or well, any combination possible. Uh, I'll show you the rest. If I flip this over and remove the first one, it's fairly easy. You can see the holes here and there will fit into the arm assembly where normally the, the gun. Uh, uh, the launcher and the missile will be as you can see the missile launcher is attached I will show you in a minute how to detach it but first if you have uh, removed the, the missile assembly this fits in just perfect hmm? and the other way around it's exactly the same I haven't done any mods this is just let me show you Normally, these things are supposed to be here and then in the armor assembly. Even with this, you can connect the, the assembly like this to make it uh, normal again. No screws needed. You might need to tighten it up a little, but this works, right? Okay. Here we go. I'll use the original one since mine had, had a broken tip and I fixed the broken tip with using another gun. Okay. This is going to be hard because I'm filming with one hand and this is actually a, a camera and another camcorder. Okay, when you move like this one all the way back, then you need to bend it. And you see, uh, if you, I don't know if it looks, slide it out. It's very hard with one hand, but see, no problem. This is where you slide it in there. Hmm? Okay, here I discussed the epic gun combination. I cannot use this one since it doesn't allow me to remove the top anymore. But if you're careful enough, see, you can remove the standard tips from uh, Jetfire. This will become coming handy uh, in a moment. I'll show you why. Okay. Turn this thing around, yeah. then slide this one all the way back to get this uh, white exposed. Then you can choose uh, to use it all the way around like this, or you can slide it to make the scope. Yeah, But you need to do it like this. Make sure the white is exposed uh, on both. 
so you have a little extra space where the tip of the jet ferry gun was. Then just press it in here and voila. It's super easy. Scope power rifle mode or whatever. Okay, you can use these packs uh, for jet fire to hold it, but if you check this hole out, just once more, click this inside without the tip, and then put it on top. And you get something like this. Jet fire can hold it in your arms. Twist it a little. Here's the final look for easy connecting. Yeah. And I'll show you this way the hand is on the right spot, the thumb is on the right spot. But if, if you want to connect uh, the launchers without using uh, the black gun, you have to invert the hand. I know